Hello, YouTubers and everybody else. This is your guy, Busy Blake. This video, I want to show you what I did. I inherited this house from my father. And this is something I've been kind of wanting to do for a long time as far as updating this house that was built in the mid mid 70s this is the house i grew up in and oh every time i go over there i look around and i would tell my dad man it wouldn't be nothing to do this or do that but my daddy was stuck in his old in his old ways and he liked what he had and you can't argue with that so now that the house is belongs to me there's a few changes i want to make and and when i say a few i'm being kind of conservative when i say that because we actually made a lot of changes we uh we knocked out several walls that separated the living room from the dining room and the kitchen and changing out the lights we're putting some recessed can lighting Drawing a circle, he drew a circle up there. Now he's just cutting the sheetrock out. All right, now I'm back. I wanted to actually give you the video where I was talking, actually, during the video as I was recording. But my cousin was able to cut the hole, but he had to he had to relocate it because he was run. He didn't check to see if any. Uh, beams were above there he just knocked around and he saw that's not the way to do it and he was wrong and I told him that before he did it by the way but that's what we deal with when we you know that's family yeah we try to take shortcuts sometimes but we got it done so uh, all right so right now I'm just showing you kind of where we at middle of the process just had the guys come by and they spray some texture after uh, the, some of the contractors fixed all of the like cracks and scraped down a lot of stuff. But we shaved down all the popcorn off the ceiling and uh, it was a lot of work. It was a big mess, but uh, I wanted to keep the cabinets. I just wanted to spruce them up. I had them paint them and I'm gonna change out all the hinges and the knobs and hopefully it'll turn out good. Now with the fireplace, uh, I was searching stuff online and got some ideas how, how we could make this 1970s rock fireplace look kind of up to date. So one thing I, I kind of was seeing that I really liked was white stone fireplaces along with the gray walls and man, it turned out to look pretty good to me. Uh, that was one of my favorite features of this house. And uh, now the house I currently live in, if you notice the two-tone walls there, that's kind of how my house is. And I live in a fairly new house, so I thought I'd take just, my house is pretty updated, take some of those things and, and incorporate it into this remodel at my dad's house. And, you know, I, I like the way it turned out. I like the way it looked. And we wanted to add some crown molding. And I say we, I'm talking about myself, my wife, and, uh, and that's pretty much it. Now, now the contractor, he, he was, he's a relative of mine, and whatever we wanted, he was willing to, to do it, and he said he could take care of it. So, uh, a lot of back and forth, though. It was a, this was a, a interesting experience, uh, it was a lot of fun. I, I don't know if I want to go through that again. But if, if it's something that I was to do, like, uh, to, like, if I went in that type of business, then uh, it wouldn't be a, a problem. Because, I, I mean, I actually enjoyed it. And uh, I like coming up with different designs and trying to figure out what will look good on certain things. But we ended up keeping the Formica. I kind of wanted to switch to granite, but a lot of uh, 
a lot of things were starting to add up as far as uh, price and cost was concerned. So we decided to stick with the Formica, and that's that's a suggestion that, that the contractor made, and he said he could cover it. So uh, I went and did some research and see what type of design would look good, and that's what we went with. Like it's a marble design. I went with some backsplash, which that was originally supposed to go in the in the bathrooms to make like a border. It was going to be like a border in the middle of the tub surround. Not tub surround, but the towel that surrounded the tub. Uh, but we went ahead and it was actually a, a misunderstanding. And I walked in and that they were putting it up putting the backsplash up in the kitchen and it looks pretty good so what the heck all right now the way things are looking I, it's starting to look like we're making progress look like we I see a light at the end of the tunnel uh, things are coming along good I love the ceiling fans we took down they had like oh orange globe lights orange yellowy looking things probably look good back then but today they they wasn't they were very unsightly this total outdated totally outdated but uh look if, if you you see we almost finished now folks now this, this was a this probably lasted a good three to four months i was promised it wouldn't take but probably six to eight weeks but you know are contractors ever right <laughs> But uh, why would this be an exception? But I was happy. Uh, the house was paid for. I, I didn't have to pay like a mortgage, but uh, I did want to hurry up and get it on the market so I could sell it. And, uh, you know, it, it came together good. We did get to a point where uh, we were able to get it on the market with my realtor. And this thing was getting a lot of hits. It, we had so many showings the first day and so many offers. And uh, we actually closed the deal and it sold the first day. However, uh, the, the buyer eventually backed out and uh, that was kind of disappointing. It was very disappointing, but we put it back on the market and uh, it's like it, it just like the first day. A lot of people just it, it went and we got multiple offers, a lot of offers. And we couldn't even figure out which one we wanted to go with because they were all more than the asking price. But uh, we decided on one. It was like a cash buyer came through and and uh, that was the most uh, promising offer. So that's what we went with. And uh, everything went through and we sold the house. I was proud. I think my daddy would have been proud of the way his house looked. And... Uh, I don't think we had to do it, meaning all the work that I did. It definitely need, needed to be updated and painted, but I, a lot of this stuff is something I wanted to do, and uh, it was just kind of uh, personal to me. So, we got it done. I sure appreciate you guys for watching, man. Please go ahead and like the video and subscribe. Thanks.